there are a number of different areas where we can contribute. Uh, and uh, I think one of the most important ones is actually education. And it's education of the public, but it's also education of the physicians and also of the politicians. So we have three areas where it's really important for us to educate and uh, make people aware of the difficulties of patients with chronic respiratory diseases. As you know, these diseases um, affect quality of life quite extensively. Uh, it's not only the local symptoms, but uh, also general well-being as well as uh, lack of sleep. Uh, which uh, makes for a disease that has a severe impact on, uh, on the quality of life. And due to that, also on um, the um, health costs in the society. Well, I think that we are building um, the society now from a situation where we have been focused initially on being a meeting point, a think tank for researchers from all over the world, actually. Uh, it started as a European meeting, but it's expanded into more of an international meeting. It's very important for us to, um, to uh, make politicians aware that they need to contribute to research. You know, uh, these uh, diseases are not just a, you know, a blocked nose, but it's much more than that. And therefore, we need to, to allocate money for, this, uh, for, for the research into these diseases. But that's a difficult question since we don't know actually what is the reason, we don't have the mechanism of these diseases. We can cure the symptoms, but we cannot cure the disease. And therefore, we can also we don't really know how to prevent it. But obviously, some things will worsen the symptoms for patients, uh, such as uh, uh, air pollution, uh, environment uh, in working areas. We know that, for instance, big houses with dry air are uh, difficult problems for people with chronic respiratory diseases. So there are some areas that we know how to cure, how we prevent symptoms, but how to prevent the disease, we really don't know very much about.